Renee from Powerhouse Life Coaching. Today, I have a burning question. And my burning question is, what are you afraid of? Maybe you want that job promotion or a raise. Maybe you're ready to take your side hustle to a full-time hustle. Maybe you wanna end a long-term relationship. And the bigger the desire, the bigger the life change, right? Which means you're probably thinking through all the things that could go wrong, which is honestly not the worst thing. The body and the mind has this very innate wisdom and it's always talking to us. It's actually pretty smart. <laughs> It's always trying to send us messages all day and it has very good intention because it's always trying to keep us out of harm's way. It's trying to protect us. And so instead of listening, most of us just stay stagnant. We don't move because we feel so uncomfortable. But I'm here to challenge you today. And rather than being stagnant, let's get curious and let's listen to the message. And when we can get clear on the message, then we can assess the message and plan accordingly. Tim Ferriss, he has this great TED talk on fear setting. And he asked the question, where in your life right now might defining your fears be more important than defining your goals. So what's great about this question and this exercise on fear setting is where we would typically A, try and think through the problem in isolation, or B, avoid the thought or the problem completely. This exercise pulls out everything in your head and it's usually a very long message, a very long list. And the exercise of fear setting looks like this. Step one, you wanna define, prepare, and repair. So defining is getting very clear on your fears. So making a long laundry list of what are you afraid of. Write out 10 to 20 things. And then for every point that you wrote out, you wanna think through, so what can I do to prevent or decrease the likelihood of this happening? And in repair, if it does happen, write out for every point, what can I do to repair this? Or who can I ask for help? And once you've completed that exercise, is there anyone in the history of time that is less intelligent than me and has less drive than me that has solved this problem? You're likely gonna say yes. Once you've completed that, then you really wanna fill the body with good juices and vibrations and write out what are all the benefits if I attempt this, or even if I partially attempt this. And the last question you really wanna ask yourself is, if you don't take action, what might life look like in six months, 12 months, three years from now? Write it all out, write it all out. The fear setting exercise has the opportunity to be a very powerful tool for your success. For Tim Ferriss, this has been an essential tool and contributor to some of his best business decisions. And for context on this tool, it's based on stoicism. It's a way to help you focus on what you can control versus what you can't, which decreases your emotional reactivity. And stoicism has become a means of mental toughness training in the NFL. That said, go out, write out your fears. Those fears have a message. And then assess and plan accordingly. What do I wanna act on and what do I not wanna act on? How do I wanna create a workaround for it? If you end up using this tool or had any ahas or appreciations within this video, please let me know. Send me a like, send a DM, drop a comment, reshare, looking forward to hearing from you folks. Have a good one. And my burning question and my burning question for you and the bigger does and the bigger and the big Zeno Cetitium Zeno Cetitium hope I'm saying that right